So in this video, I'm going to be sketching a circle on the Cartesian plane. Now, you already know the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is going to be the radius of the circle. So, example, x squared plus y squared equals 9. That's going to be, on my Cartesian plane, it's going to have a cent, uh, an origin, sorry, center at the origin, and it's going to have a radius of the square root of 9, which is 3. Boom, 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 boom. Negative 3, 3, negative 3, 3, circle. That is the basic equation of a circle. But I'm sort of constrained here because the center is stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm not, like I'm stuck at the origin. I'm going to have to change my basic equation to something a little more useful, a little more robust. This is my new basic equation. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. This is a really useful one because not only can I change the radius by changing my r value, but I can also change the center point by changing my h and my k value. So if I was asked to sketch this, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 16, I'm going to know a couple of things straight away. One, I know that the radius is equal to the square root of 16 which in this case is 4. Uh, positive or negative doesn't really matter, a radius is positive. Um, now, the h value in this case is equal to, see that the original is like negative h, so our h value is the opposite of negative 3, it's positive 3. And our k value is the uh, opposite of positive 2, so our k value is equal to negative 2. Now, interesting piece of information, h and k are going to tell us the center. So the center of this circle, center of circle, is going to be equal to h, k. So in this case, the center of our circle is going to be equal to 3, negative 2. Again, notice that 3, negative 2, it's kind of the opposite of this. Not negative 3, positive 2, positive 3, negative 2. Just, it's like the opposite of what you see, like the h values in our quadratics. All right, so I know a couple of things. I know the radius, that's important, and I know the center, 3, negative 2. x and y intercepts are also going to be really important, and it's the same all the time. I'm going to find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0. So in this one, it's going to be uh, x minus 3 squared plus 0 plus 2 squared equals 16. Now, what that's going to be, we need to be careful about how we do this. I'm just going to leave it as x minus 3 squared right now. If we expand it, life's going to get hard. Uh, 2 squared is 4 equals 16. So 16 minus 4 is 12. So now I have x minus 3 squared is equal to 12. Um, so, the square root of 12, plus or minus, is equal to x minus 3, which means that x is equal to 3, plus or minus the square root of 12. Um, this should look kind of familiar. It should look like one of those completing the square type questions. Those are my x-intercepts. Now I can find my y-intercepts intercepts by letting x equal 0. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be 0 minus 3 squared uh, plus y plus 2 squared equals 16. This works the same because it's going to be 16 y plus 2 squared and that negative 3 squared is going to be uh, positive 9. So now I've got 16 minus 9 equals y plus 2 squared. Um, 16 minus is 7, y plus 2. Now I don't need the, the squared anymore, so I can move that over there, but it's going to be plus or minus. And now I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 7 plus y. Now you can come up um, with decimal uh, approximations by typing that into your calculator, plus or minus, typing that into your calculator, plus or minus. Now the final step to all of this would be sketching it, here is my Cartesian plane. It has a center at 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 1, 2. 
Now, it has a radius of 4. So if we think about what a radius of 4 is going to look like, it's definitely going to be over here somewhere. Uh, and it's going to sort of go like that a little bit. And I also know a couple of things about... I know a lot of things about a lot of these points. Um, so if this point is 3, negative 2, I know that... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... I know that the top of it is going to be up here at um, 3, positive 2. And I know that this point is going to be down here at 3, um, negative 6. And I know that this point is going to be over here at 7, negative 2. And I know that this point is going to be here at uh, 1, negative 2. But I should also know that there's going to be x and y intercepts there and there. So I just need to type them in. I'm just going to find out what some decimal approximations are for this and for this. I just need to know whether I'm going to be in the positives or the negatives in that area because I'm not sure. So now I've got my handy numbers here. I can say that x is equal to negative 0.46. So that's kind of like here-ish. And x is equal to 6.46, which is here. Now, I can, even though I know that that's 6.46, I'm going to write 3 plus root 12, because that's an exact value. And for that one, I would write um, 3 minus root 12. Just put a little arrow there. All right, and then I have negative 4.64, which is down here, which is negative 2 minus root 7. And then here, you have, see I have a positive 0 0.64, uh, which is uh, negative 2 plus root 7. Okay, and then, so I have points here, 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 and here. I have eight points. Uh, that I can now join up and draw the world's best circle. Amazing. There we go. Uh, that, from start to finish, is the equation of a circle, the center of the circle, and then how to sketch it by coming up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 points.